the last one's on. Four. Last one's on. Four, two, two, oh, one, six. Hi, ho it's the really big old time radio show. We're back down here in the boiler room, down in the boiler room studios, down at station GHRT for the really big old time radio show. Starring Molly in the middle and Sonny the Wonder Doggy Doo. We got everything going on down here. We got the country music. We got the old country music. We got the new country music. We got the heavy shit. We got shit about syrup. Uh, all kinds of shit, right? <laughs> what haven't we got? We got the formulation for happiness. We got the school, how to write a song, how to sing a song. We got the open window on the process, yeah. right? What am I missing? There's so many things, I can't remember them all. Yeah, you figure it out. So, uh, really big old time radio show. Mm-hmm. With uh, starring Molly in the middle and Sunny the Wonder Doggy Doo and coming to you from station GHRT and the virtual haystack in your mind. Now, kick back and chill out to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs. Coming up very soon. (laughs) (laughs) And remember, always remember this. (laughs) What do they always remember? The show starts in five minutes. Five minutes. He's a great American hero that we all look up to. He's a little old, little old Russian Jew. <laughs> oh, Bernie, he's a, he's a cowboy man. And he li- lives by his rules day to day. And if you ask for his advice, him on like these say. If it's a bank, break it up. If anybody's suffering, fix it up. I'll be poor it burns. I hold down in their shoes. Now I'm just going. If it's a load, truck it. If it's a punch, you better duck it. If she's a lady, oh, you better treat her like a queen. That's cowboy logic. Every Bernie's guy It's in the way he lives his life And the songs he sings Oh, that's the Bernie Sanders logic Bernie Sanders got <laughs> Got the sample solution Just about anything Just about anything. If it's a job, do it. it. Put your back into it, Bernie. Cause a little bit of dirt is gonna wash off in the rain. If it's a horse, ride it. If it hurts, hide it. Dust yourself off and get back on again. That's cowboy logic. I hope the Bernie's got it. Cause it's in the way he lives his life and the songs he sings. That's true. That's the Bernie logic. Hey, little Bernie's got it. He's got a simple solution for just about anything. He's got a simple solution for just about anything. Oh, 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 that's the Bernie logic. (laughs) And what we're going to do for the school... 
-hmm. is we'll actually do an Al Yankovic on that mm -hmm. as things go along to try and help Bernie. Mm -hmm. Because, like, uh, Bernie's good, good dude. Yeah. yeah, if he's not some sort of weird puppet set up because he says everything right. Yeah. It's almost scary mm -hmm. how right he says shit. Yeah. Right? And, you know, everybody's got to think about this. Because of who he is and what he is, he can talk to the power, the real power. Yeah. And you can, he can say, he, he'll be able to say to the real power, could we just share a little bit more? Just a little bit more. And everything would be a lot better. Yeah. Instead of fighting with him, you know. Yeah. All right. Can I change your thing? Okay, now we're going to go down to New York, which is an important state for Bernie. Yeah. But I think... I don't really know whether his people are behind him mm -hmm. or whether it's just all the young people. I'm not really sure. I don't know enough about it. Yeah. You know, I just know it's really, really interesting because I just started to study the whole thing of the music industry and all that type of thing. And, of course, I found these Russian Jews. Mm -hmm. Looks like they own all of it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Bernie is. Mm -hmm. So... Whatever. <laughs> I still got more looking to do, but it sure looked like that. What's this? Is it Sam Cook? Yeah. They killed Sam. Yeah, they did. Where'd they kill him? Down in Los Angeles. Yeah. He wasn't bringing in a couple of keys either. Oh, let me tell you about a place. Oh, somewhere down in New York way Oh, where the people are so gay Twisting night away Man, they're having lots of fun Putting trouble on the run Oh, man, we got them old and young Twisting night away Ah, oh, yeah, they're twisting I said they're twisting I said that everybody's being gray, old man, they twist. I said the twist. I said the twist in night away. There's a man eating his clothes. How he got him, I don't know, but man, you ought to see him go. Twist in night away. Dancing with the chicken black Oh look they're moving up and back Oh man you know that ain't too slack Twisting night away Ah yeah the twist I said the twist I said that everybody's been in rain Oh man they're twist I said the twist I said the twist in night away Ah yeah the twist I said the twist I said the twist in night away Twist in night away Ah yeah the twist I said the twist in the night away He's a fella in blue jeans He's dancing with an old queen And she's all dolled up in a diamond ring Twist in the night away Man, you ought to see her go She's switching to that rock and roll Oh man, we got me young and old Twist in the night away Oh man, we're twist. I said we're twisting I said that everybody's feeling great, oh man, we're twisting. I said we're twisting. I said we're twisting the night away. And jump up and jump back. I said that everybody's feeling great, oh man, we're twisting. I said we're twisting. I said we're twisting the night away. I ever twist. I said we're twisting. I said that everybody's feeling great, oh man, we're twisting. I said we're twisting. I said we're twisting the night away. That's a Robert Dubell. <laughs> At the same time, I do the laugh like Robert Dubell. I want to put my arm up. <laughs> it all happens once in my head. <laughs> yeah. I was talking last time about the things in my head coming yeah. out. Yeah. Isn't that what's always happening? Things I put in my head strong enough, mm -hmm. they materialize in yeah. the world. It's yeah. so weird. Weirdness. You're just a processor. So I hope I end up twisting the night away down in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Uh, nice. Right. 
Nothing's funny to her. <laughs> All right. Now, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to say this earlier. This is really brilliant to say this now because I was talking about me studying the Jewish history. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Jewish his- history. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's nothing more incredible mm-hmm. than Jewish history. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's human behavior. It's like an experiment. <laughs> now, I'm not going to talk about that. Okay. What I'm going to talk about is that I was supposed to say it now. Because now we're going to sing this history, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know much about history. Don't know much about I don't know much about the French I took. I don't know much about my sign. But I do know I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world it would be. I don't know much about algebra. I don't know what a slide rule is for. Don't know much about geometry. I don't know much trigonometry. But I do know one and one is two. And I know if I could be with you, what a wonderful world it would be. I don't claim to be an A student. But I'm trying to be Cause maybe if I be an A student baby I could bring your love to me Oh, I don't know much about history I don't know much about D. I don't know much about my science book I don't know much about the French I too But I do know that I love you and I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world it would be. Take it away. I don't claim to be an A student, but I'm trying to be. Cause maybe by being an A student, baby, I could win your love for me. Oh, I don't know much about history. I don't know much about much about geometry. I don't know much trigonometry, but I do know one and one is two. And I know if I could be with you, what a wonderful world it would be. Oh, I don't know much. I don't know much. I don't know much. I don't know much. But what a wonderful world it would be. Do that last note a hit? Yeah. No, that's not. That one. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of um, Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For some reason. I, I don't really know why, but it's like when you wish upon a star. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie then. Let's get some. Are we going to say something heavy? Wait a minute. Have you? I'm on fire. All right. No. Yes. I'm on fire. You're right. It's in the same key. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that key. All right. Mm. C sharp, eh? Okay, here we go. Uh, Kick back and chill out to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs down here at station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind. (laughs) I was going to try and use a uh, picorino. Okay. And... um, the thing about this song is, is I don't really want to talk about this until after the song. Okay. Because it will wreck the song. Okay, then don't. Because the song is pretty cool. But it might be time, actually, for me to talk about, uh, on, on the song that I'm going to have to sing, you know, we got the country and western porn show coming up? Yeah. All right. And you know, I got to sing Wrecking Ball. <laughs> it's not actually Wrecking Ball, it's like a Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Because there's another one, right? Yeah. Miley Cyrus, right? Yeah. No, I gotta sing like a wrecking ball. That's the real filthy one. Mm-hmm. It's filthy. <laughs> I'd eat that filthy. <laughs> <laughs> the black guys back in the R and B. Oh no, that yeah. stuff was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that big guy. <laughs> yeah. Love me, baby. <laughs> What's that? Isaac Hayes. 
Oh, and there was another no. guy too. The more famous. Two of them, really, yeah. really big. <laughs> Barry, Barry White. Barry White. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. So this is really a white man. <laughs> no, but it'll be pretty good. You wait. I can do it. <laughs> I told you, I'm more like a wrecking ball than Eric Turgis. He's a tall, handsome dude. Yeah. I'm the goddamn wrecking ball around here. <laughs> You get that straight, Eric. There's going to be a wrecking ball around here. It's going to be me. <laughs> okay, just a second. Come on, I got, I got to get up closer. There's going to be a wrecking ball around here. It's going to be me. <laughs> okay, now why was I talking about that? I don't know. Oh, because <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because I looked up, I wanted, I don't know why I want to know, but I want to know the writer. And you know who the first writer is? Eric Church didn't, doesn't write by himself. Mm-hmm. He's, he's on there. He's second, though. Yeah. But what what killed me was the the main writer's name is Casey Beathard. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> no, no. This is how this is how the industry is like. So you got to be so competitive. Yeah. You know. That they gotta remember. So you come in with these highly sexual songs, yeah. and your name is Casey Beathard. <laughs> It'll be one of those little Russian guys might remember you, right? Yeah. Well, got them together with Eric Church anyway. <laughs> it's, listen to this, Eric Church. Yeah. Casey Beathard. <laughs> Don't you think that's funny? <laughs> Whoa, well, hey, Eric, you're laughing. Because you're laughing enough for the both of us. <laughs> yeah, I sure do like my humor. I've noticed that. <laughs> yeah. I was you thinking, about, really I was thinking about that Greek thing where the guy looked in the water. Narciss- Narcissus? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that way about myself, but when I'm watching myself, I'm starting to like break up. Yeah, I look like an idiot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's go. What is it? Uh, I'm on fire. Okay, we got it. It's not Wrecking Ball. <laughs> That's oh. going to be really disappointing for people who are expecting Well, they got to watch the next show. I'll have it ready okay. for the next damn show. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit Okay, you want me to do it? No. <laughs> do I'm on fire. <laughs> do I'm on fire. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. But give me the pick then. I got to have the goddamn pick. Now, just a minute. What key are we doing this in? C sharp, it says. C sharp. All right. Well, I think it's wrong, but let's do it. Well, that's not C sharp. Oh, that's not it? No. <laughs> oh. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Jersey, there was like half a billion dollars worth of real estate. It'll go your daddy home, did it go and leave you all alone? I got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Can I do to you the things that I do? Mm-hmm. I can take you high. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Come down like someone took a night, baby, a gin down to the 16th Valley, middle of my skull. Now you ain't going, she's so aware I'm afraid train running through the middle of my head And you, you can cool my desire Oh, I'm on fire Oh, I'm on fire Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Can you do to you the things that I do? Six in the belly, through the middle of my 
scar Night I wake up with a sheet so wet Play dream around in the middle of my head And you, you can cool my desire myself to be quiet for a minute uh. before I start screaming <laughs> about the next concept okay <laughs> no and I'll tell you what it is now you're gonna know why okay. why I don't know why this all happens it's weird because mm-hmm. you know the trouble we just brought in 25,000 Syrians you know into the country and all the Middle East stuff right uh-huh. well you know what your uh, two of your top stories mm. You know, Gomeshi, CBC, oh, big yeah. CBC yeah. radio yeah. guy, yeah. been choking and beating on the girls. Yeah. All right. His, not so bad, mm-hmm. but something really important that you got to tend to because it's really bad. It's uh, women mm-hmm. are hurting themselves bad, okay? Because... When you get a high-profile case like this and everybody gets to see it, they get to see what judges see every day. Mm -hmm. 95% of the girls are crying wolf. Mm -hmm. Well, think if you're a judge and you're in that situation and you've seen 95 out of 100 go down the road. So you get this go meshy one. It's a real high-profile, right? Mm -hmm. And down the road, after she says what she says and how he treated her so badly, she had sent him pictures in bikinis and wanting to go out on another date after she said that she was abused. Yeah. That's your problem right there. I know. It's not so much the guys. It's the girls. Yeah. They're doing it to themselves. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. How can you bring in a law? When 95 out of 100, you know what I mean? It's kind of the problem with every every I, situation. I know. Is that. I know. It's really tough because when you get down to it, it's a human nature thing. Yeah. And you're trying to adapt it into rules and stuff, and it's like really tough, right? Yeah. Really tough. Yeah. That's enough on it. I'm not even going into the other guy. Okay. I'll see if I can get enough steam to talk about it later, but I don't know. Because <laughs> we need to talk about a lot of celebrity. All right. You know why? <laughs> because people will click on things about celebrities. Op- <laughs> this is the open window on the process. <laughs> if you don't say something about a celebrity, you're going down a road where nobody goes. That's a search mm-hmm. term. Mm-hmm. You're going down to sit down at live country music shows. And nobody ever goes <laughs> to live country music shows. They go to Eric Church. Carrie Underwood, they <laughs> got a celebrity. That's why the people that make it down here do the acoustic covers because you get to say the names of the big songs and the names of the big people, and that gives you a chance to piggyback down their road. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Nick that, of time. That, yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> an old money rate R&B American. My little girl, she cries at night. She calls me on the phone. Sees babies everywhere she goes. She wants one of her own. She's waited long enough, she said, and still he can't decide. And pretty soon she's gonna have to choose. Tears her up inside Oh yeah, she's scared Scared to run out of time Oh yeah, she's scared She's scared to run out of time I see my folks They're getting on I watch their bodies change 
I know they see the same me It makes us both feel strange No matter how you tell yourself Is what we all go through Those lines are pretty hard to take When I stand back at you Oh yeah, we're all scared Scared of night time Oh yeah, we're scared Scared to run out of time When did the choices get so hard? There's so much more at stake. Life is mighty precious when there's less of it to waste. Mm -hmm. Less of it to waste. Mm -hmm. Less of it to waste. Just when I thought I'd had enough And all my tears were shed No promise left unbroken There were no painful words unsaid You came along and you showed me how To leave it all behind so Opened up my heart again much to my surprise, he I found love done, love in the nick of time. Yeah, I found love, be love in the nick of time. Oh yeah, we're all scared, scared to run out of time. You know there's less of it to it mm -hmm. Less of it to it mm -hmm. Less of it to waste Suppose I called you up and I told you that I love you Suppose I said I want to come back home Suppose I cried and said I think I finally learned my lesson I'm tired of spending all my time alone If I told you that I realized you're all I ever wanted It's killing me to be so far away Would you tell me that you love me too? Would we cry together? Would you simply laugh at me and say, Would you say I told you so? I, I told you so. Told you someday you'd come calling back and asking me to let you in. Would you say I told you so? to go now I found somebody new you never break my heart into again now I found somebody new you'll never break my heart into again I got down on my knees and told you I was yours forever would you get down on yours too and take my hand We'd talk and laugh for hours Waiting when our love first began And would you tell me that you missed me too And that you'd been so long And waited for a day I'd return And we'd live in love forever And I'm your one and only 
Or would you say the tables finally turned? Hey, would you say I told you so? I, I told you so. Told you someday you'd come crawling back and asking me to Jane. Would you say I told you so? But you, you had to go. Now I found somebody new. You'll never break my heart into again. Yes, I found somebody new. You'll never break my heart into oh again. Hey, would you say I told you so? Somebody might have been, you know what I mean? Should yeah. Be? I got something to say about that, and I, I wanted to say it after the song, too, so I didn't blow the song, right? Mm -hmm. But when I've been in that situation, if you're high in empathy, mm -hmm. right, obviously the person screwed up because mm -hmm. you're saying, I told you so, right? Mm -hmm. So if you really, really think about it, to say, I told you so, is a bullying thing. Yeah. If you have high empathy... The kids do it right and stuff, but mm -hmm. if, if, if you should really think like this, if it doesn't come natural, <laughs> this is called forcing empathy. They already blew it. Mm -hmm. You're digging in the wound. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Yeah. That kind of shit will come around and beat you up. Yeah. Well. That's the old. Well, what? I don't know. I Sounds like you're going to argue with me. <laughs> I'm not going to. All right. You can, can argue with me if you want. I can see both sides. Depends how you do it. You mean you look at life from both sides now, <laughs> from win and lose, and still somehow it's clouds, illusions, I recall. I really don't know life at all. <laughs> and that reminds me, I was supposed to tell Merle, Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to feel bad about writing all that shit that he wrote when he was a kid, right? About because I seen him smoking with Willie, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I gotta call Willie, you know. I seen him smoking with Willie, smoking the weed, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought Merle, you know, because he wrote the big song "We Don't Smoke Marijuana" in yeah. the Muskog Muskogee. Yeah. Well, Merle, there's a big Japanese philosopher, and what he said was, after he got older. Mm -hmm. Don't believe anything I wrote before I was 70. Yeah. So, Merle, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't give us no more bullshit about <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm out of here. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's uh, Casey Musgrave. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here's a Casey Musgrave tune called... It is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. I wanted to say that at the beginning <laughs> of the show. I love that. It is what it is. That's a brilliant. Yeah, she's a good thing. All right. Well, I think you're thinking too hard to put on your shoes. Get in your car, put it in drive, point it this way, you don't have to talk, you don't have to stay, cause I ain't got no one sleeping with me, and you ain't got no Maybe I love you, maybe I'm just kind of bored. It is what it is, till it ain't anymore. We've tried being apart. 
heart but the truth is we are who we are so much alike it ain't a good thing too dumb to give up too stubborn to change cause I ain't got no one sleeping with me and you ain't got nowhere you need to be maybe I love you maybe I'm just gonna It is what it is Till it ain't anymore If something better Comes along Till whatever we have is gone I ain't got no Sleeping with me, and you ain't got nowhere you need to be. Maybe I love you, maybe I'm just kind of bored. It is what it is till it ain't any. It is what it is Till it ain't anymore Hey, hi, yo, it's the really big old time radio show Now I got something to say, of course That's unusual, I know But I do have something to say and that is that we got to get you on the smack. <laughs> you know, China Wait, the black tar. Yeah. Because I think you're going to be the next Billie Holiday of country music. <laughs> She's got the Billie Holly, Holiday sound. I think all she needs is a couple of years on the smack. Okay. And you'll have it down pat. <laughs> have the smack down pat. <laughs> That's not good enough, but they do do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, we're down in the Boiler Room Studios here at GHRT because they had to move us down to where the walls are cement because when we get cooking, which we should do, except we're going to play it in a higher thing, but we should do on the Joey G Boogie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when we get cooking, we need the cement walls because we get it gets really hot in here, really hot. It's the Boiler Room Studios. Yeah. Station GHRT. <laughs> Kick back and chill out. To the virtual haystack in your mind. <laughs> Okay, and then that'll be really good for waking you up, too, if we get you on a lot of dope. Wouldn't that be the opposite? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't you know my humor yet? Okay, <laughs> hold on. My humor is getting good right now. All right. Okay. Yeah, don't you know my humor yet? Uh, it varies. I'm saying the backwards of what it is. <laughs> what it is. Till it ain't anymore. Till it ain't anymore. That's what I said. See? She got that line from me. Yeah. I should. Did she? I. She should cut me in on that. <laughs> she's a really good little songwriter, man. Holy yeah, crap! She's cool. I say little songwriter because she's little. She is little. She's not very big. It's kind of cute so. though. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Where? Fun, fun, fun. Oh, here <laughs> we go down to La Jolla. Oh yeah. I bet you Beehard is whacking off in La Jolla. Yeah. <laughs> That's the words to the song. I'm not making it up. Um. G Yeah, I believe you played it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I need a pick too. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be really fun, fun, fun. <laughs> right now. Yeah. Am I lying? Nope. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, but you got her daddy's car and she cruises the hamburger stand now. She picked up all the fire in the library like she told her old man now And with the radio blast and goes cruising just as fast as she can now Yeah, she did bum 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 till her dad 
daddy takes her teaser away. Fun, fun, fun till her daddy takes her teaser away. Fred's a new one long as your daddy's getting wise to you. Shouldn't have lied now, you shouldn't have lied. I think you took his head of keys, you've been a thing and then you're buzzing all through shouldn't now. Shouldn't have lied now, you shouldn't have lied. But if you come along with me, we still got a lot of things to do now. Shouldn't have lied now, you shouldn't have lied. It's a Toby Keith compilation. What about something heavy? Maybe some people are tuning in for the therapy. Maybe. Okay. Well, you know how you got to do your pity pulls. Yeah. You got to balance your pity pulls. Yep. Purpose, development, fair play, pie. Order, love, and sync with nature. Synchronization with nature. Your pity pull. Yeah. You got to watch those because those are the key to happiness. Now. The second part is, is all your brain does is puzzles, games, and stories. Yeah. So if you get yourself into the right puzzles, get in the right game, mm -hmm. with the right puzzles and stories, mm -hmm. you're going to be happier. Yeah. Well, you want to look for where you zone out. That's a key. Look for how, wh what you're doing when you go in the zone. And then be creative. About what you can do in the world. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. All right. She likes to keep doing something else so she can concentrate. <laughs> ah. Oh, are you playing? Ooh, I love this yeah. bar. What key is in it? It's in C. 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 It's in the C. Now, oh, Toby, you better be moving those burgers. We got winners, we got losers, chain smokers and boozers, and we got yuppies, we got bikers, we got them thirsty hitchhikers, and the girl next door dressed up like movie star. Mm -hmm. I love this 
吧。We got cowboys, we got truckers, broken-hearted fools and suckers, and we got hustlers, we got fighters, early birds and all-nighters. Girls next door, no, bets curse the powerful friends they lost in any useless war. Oh. It's my kind of place. Just walking through the front door, it puts a big smile on my face. Oh, it ain't too far. Come as you are. Take her out to dinner. I like to move in now and then, but I love this bar. It's my kind of place. Just trolling around the dance floor puts a big smile on my face. No cover charge. Come as you are. We got divorcees and a big old bouncer man. We got an old jukebox and we got a real good band. We got waitresses. We got barflies. A dumbass and a wise guy. And if you get too drunk, just sleep out in your car. Be right there with you. Oh. Mm -hmm. This bar. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I love this bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I just love this old bar. Yep, Toby Keith and the Burgers down in Las Vegas. Yeah, what do you know about Toby Keith? You been you been talking to him lately? No. Well, we need something to say about Toby Keith, okay? <laughs> Two first <laughs> because names. Somebody might go down the Toby Keith road and we want to be down there when they get down there. You know what I mean? <laughs> now quit farting around and get in business here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is where it gets serious. Gets serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's serious for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious business. Toby Keith Company. <laughs> he got this off his dad's. That's how I was talking to him. Uh -huh. I was just talking to him. And he told me he oh. got this. This was the song that made him. Well, oh. it was one of the first ones. And he got this off his dad's bumper sticker. Yeah. All right. Fine. Go ahead. And he caught it just at the right time because all the baby boomers were getting like 40 years old and they were starting to freak out. Yeah. Now they're really freaking out. Yeah. It's more applicable now. <laughs> and I sing it insane. more appropriately too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does it start? She said I've seen you in here before. She said I've seen you in here before. I said I've been here a time or two. She said, hello, my name is Bobby Joe. 
me and my twin sister Betty Lou. We're all been kind of wild tonight. You're the only cowboy in this place. And if you're up for a rodeo, I will put a big country smile on your face. I said, girls, I ain't as good as I once was. I got a few years on me now. But there was a time back in my prime I could really lay it down. So if you want some love tonight, oh, I just might have just enough. I ain't as good as I once was. But I'm as good one as I ever was. I still hang out with my best friend there. We've been together since kids at school. Last night he had a few shots, got in a tight spot, hustling a game of pool. With a couple of redneck boys and one great big old biker man. I heard Lawrence yell across the room. Hey buddy, how about a helping hand? I said, Larry, I ain't as good as I once was. My, how the years have flown. But there was a time back in my prime I could really hold my own. So if you want to fight tonight, well, I guess those boys don't look like they're all that tough. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good one as I ever was. He ain't as good as he once was, but he's as good as he ever was. Oh, I used to be a hill on weed back when I was a younger man. Now my body says, you can't do this, boy. But my pride says, oh, oh, yes, you can. So don't you double dog dare me now. Cause I just might have to call your blood. I ain't as good as I once was. But I'm as good one as I ever was. I ain't as good as I once was. But I'm as good one as I ever was. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Well, about on that very part right there at the end, mm -hmm. I am as good as once as I ever was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on that one part, I don't go to sleep on me now. You starting to look like you had the China way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Do we need to get uh, any smelling salts or something? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes fun of me. Hey, have you sung? Oh, you sang a sleepy song. I did. You should get, you should have a reserved fast one for when you're feeling, <laughs> you know, sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping oh, okay. in a strange house. Okay, so I said something about the zone. Oh, now what about this? This is really important. I got to say this really quick, okay? Um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. Say that loud. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. When she hooked up, she's a big country fan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She can't be all bad then. I thought she was pretty bad, but she can't be all bad. <laughs> Didn't she hook up with Kenny Chesney or something? Not, I don't know. Then another one? They all like the cowboys, you know? Yeah, I think that might have been Especially the one. gay cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, she's touting something called, she broke up, right? Divorce. Yeah. Right? It's called, and she's called, they call it conscious uncoupling. Uh-huh. I think it's really right. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? She's right on the money. All I got to say to her is that uh, on the money. She's also right on the money in terms of having a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of easier to do what she's doing 
when you're fucking loaded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> What's she doing? I don't get it. Well, they just have a nice relationship, you know, where they stay over and the kids, and yeah. it's all really good, and it's how it should be. Yeah. It should be that way for everybody, but first we've got to get everybody at least 70 grand a year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we want to beat Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is that an upset? Yeah. That was good. I love it when I go, okay, end of story. Enough said. Okay, but what about this? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Okay, what are we doing now? Now we're doing the Joey G Boogie. No, we're, oh, we are. Jeez, yeah, we I'm are. really behind. Hold on. I yeah, put, I we're put going from the Toby Keith compilation. I love to say that word, by the way. <laughs> compilation. They use that on the search terms, too, you know? Yeah. But I think they use medley more. Yeah. But compilation. Sounds like out of the Bible or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good for the Reverend Dr. Jill. Yeah. Oh. All right. I know. Play on this side of the cable. I know. I know. You told me before. I got it. Because listen to what it sounds like when I play on this side. Not great. It sounds like my grandmother's heart. It sounds the same all the time. I bet you I could sing a song. <laughs> Joni Mitchell's song. Yeah. Well, the seasons, they go round and round. <laughs> Listen to the people walking <laughs> down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> end of story. Okay. End of story. All right. Okay. This really is the end. No, this is just the beginning of these stories, and I wanted to say something about this, okay? Oh, really? Yeah. You know this big river guy? Yeah. Well, he's following her down to Memphis. Mm-hmm. This is wrong. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Johnny Cash wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's the wrong thing to do. Mm-hmm. If you want her, you know, you, you ever chase after a woman, that's the worst thing you could do. Yeah. It's the opposite. Fair. Do the other thing. Yeah. I don't need you, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then they're all over you. Well, it depends what the problem was in the I first know. place. I know. It's a big story and it's a whole <laughs> big conversation and I don't know nothing about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. So, but anyways, the big river guy, No. You do, you know that saying, the serenity prayer? Mm-hmm. You know, focus on what you can do something about. You mm-hmm. know, she just wanted them less. Mm-hmm. Turn and go. Listen to the song. Mm-hmm. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Watch for the part. Where is that? Yeah. Then where? Okay. Watch for the part when they're in Memphis. Okay. Now I'll probably forget that verse. Okay. <laughs> up here. I want to do it up in that, up there. Go on, I've had enough. Done my 
my blues down in the Gulf. I said that you loved you, Big River, more than me. I taught the weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. Showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. And the tears I cried for that woman, they gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. I'm gonna sit right here until I die. I'm gonna sit right here until I get a Hank Snow song. End of story. Whatever. And I thought, oh, perfect for my grave thing. <laughs> end <laughs> no, of story. Enough said. End of story. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation mark. <laughs> I thought, that's perfect. That is that's perfect. W.C. Fields. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, on the whole, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he was a funny dude, man. What a brain he had, because it was so gin all the time, yeah. right? and it still worked that good, yeah. right? Holy crap, eh? <laughs> all right. Okay, get the old Kleenex out. It's time for the therapy. It's time for the therapy, is it not? Yeah. And we got to keep Molly awake somehow during these songs, Molly, so I don't know what you... Wait a minute now. Oh, and I'm just going to do this in a straight G, Molly. Oh, okay. This is... Uh, that was... Uh, that was Johnny Cash and Hank Snow. Yeah. This is um, Ray Charles is where I got from. Yeah. Oh, Israel does a hell of a job of it too, right? Yeah. We do it more like Israel, right? Yeah. You give your hand to me and then you say hello. I can hardly speak. My heart is beating so anyone can tell. You think you know me well, but you don't know me. No, you don't know the one who dreams of you at night. Long to kiss you, leave, and long to hold you tight. You're just a friend, 
It's all I've ever been You don't know me I never knew All the The art of making love Oh how my heart Hates with love For you A plain shy, I let my chance go by. A chance that you my love me too. Love me too. Oh, you give your hand to me and you say goodbye. How about you walk away beside that lucky guy you'll never, never know? The one who loves you so, you don't know me. I never knew all the I'm making love. How my heart aches with love for you. Red and shy, I let my chance go by. The chance that you might love me too. Love me too. Oh, you, you give, give your hand to me and you say goodbye. I want you to walk away beside a lucky guy. I'm just a friend, tall of every man. You don't know You'll never, never know The one who loves you so You don't know me To you I'm just a friend That's all I've ever been You don't know To you I'm just a friend That's all I've ever been Everybody's waiting for this. This is George Jones and Anne Marie. <laughs> Bessie Molly. She's really been looking for this one. Yeah. This is I? the final crab. After you've got 50 tons of Dungeness crab, that final crab is a big deal. I can tell you because I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying now. Yeah. That's funny. She's getting That's there funny. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to try and do this way down here, and that's what these guitars are no good for, but they're no good for nothing. <laughs> I can't stand it. All right. I do it up in an E, but then I got to go to that fourth and fifth chord, and that bothers me. Because I'm not sure how to do that. Well, it's kind of the same as the last. Well, whatever, let's get going. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. George Jones, did I say that? Yeah, you did. Did I say Anne Marie? Yep. She must say he and you. He says she. Yeah. Hang on. Just because I I asked a friend about Just because I spoke her name somewhat Just because I rang her number by mistake today she thinks I still care Just because I haunt the same old places Where the memory of her lingers everywhere Just because I ain't a happy guy used to be she thinks I still care if she's happy thinking I still need her well 
it as if he no shun bring her cheek. Oh, how could she ever be so foolish? Oh, where would she get such an idea? Just because I, I haunt the same old places Where memory of her lingers everywhere Just because I saw her then went all to pieces She thinks I still Nobody will ever buy that morbid son of a bitch. That's what George said after he'd finished recording the biggest country song of all time. A lot of the, a lot of the charts say it is anyway. What was it called? It was called He Stopped Loving Her Today. He Stopped Loving Her Today. There was another guy like that other guy that, you know, I think some of these guys mm-hmm. find it easier to just go into this groove yeah. of lonesome me. Rather, because it's hard to get back out and put your way back in, and then what are you looking for in the end? You know, it's such a bad experience. Mm -hmm. So what the hell? Just live on the concept. Yeah. Yeah. On the concept. Hey, I got a question. You know that guy wrote Oh Lonesome Me and uh, the other one? Don Gibson. Don Gibson. Is the other song that you're always trying to think of? My Girlfriend's Uncle. Is the other song that you're trying to think of, uh, like, called... That's a true story. Huh? It's the other song that you're always trying to think of that he wrote. Is that called Ship of Heartaches or something? Sea of a Heartbreak? Yeah. Oh, Sea of a Heartbreak. Yeah, Sea of be. Heartbreak. Yeah. I don't know. I but there's an English guy time. did that Sea of a Heartbreak. Hold it. Righteous Brothers or somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's quit boring everybody mm-hmm. and get on with it. And what is it? I uh, do, I can do. Either do, I can do, or the other one. What's the other one? Uh, dang me. What would you guys rather? Oh. <laughs> I hear tell you're doing well. Good thing come to you. Wish I had your good luck charm. I'm gonna stop this damn song. Hey, you're driving down the road in your big Cadillac. You got the girls in the front, you got the girls in the back. We in the bag, you got the money in the sack. Oh, how we show right back. I wrap me up, I wrap me up, I wrap me up, I wrap me up. You're doing well, man. A good thing come to you. I wish I had your good luck charm. Oh, I know where it goes now. Walking in the sunshine, singing a little sunshine song. Put a smile upon your face, if nothing wrong. Think about a good time, a hell of a time ago. Think about, forget about it. your worries, and you were walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. Now you're the sunny doggy steeds. You all go walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. Go one more time, say. Hey, see, now he's your dog. Sing a little sunshine Now see, let's walk out one more time. Yes, I'll go walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. Sing the sunshine song, sunny dog. Useless character. All right, 
Okay, hey, that's the show, but it's never closing time down here at Station GHART down in the boiler room down here. It's never closing time because, why, Molly? Because you can just put on another show for free. Put on another show for free, and we'll see you in the funny papers. Keep the cards and letters coming in, and uh, have a good one.